Greetings, naturopath Eric Packer from New Zealand, author of Candida Crusher. Interesting uh, video coming up right for you now, right now. It's regarding cloudy urine. I got a question from a lady in San Francisco called Michio. Must be a Japanese name. So Michio from San Francisco is asking me, Eric, I've got cloudy urine. Do I have a yeast infection? Not necessarily. First thing I would get you to do is go to your doctor and get and get the uh, the urine culture to see if it's bacterial or fungal or what the heck's going on. So cloudy urine is not necessarily uh, you know something really bad. Many people have discolored urine or cloudy urine from time to time. It can often signify a urinary tract infection, particularly if you're a young female. Young women, uh, some women can get recurring UTIs or urinary tract infections or bladder infections. It's not that uncommon. I mean, my daughter's had these on and off, you know, here or there, and many of my patients have had them. So, you know, there can be various reasons for it. With young people, it can mean frequent intercourse or alcohol consumption. Uh, you know, there can be various causes for it. Cloudy urine with pain, however, is a different thing because that, that can be more a serious sign, particularly if you've got pain in the lower back, which could signify kidney pain. If there's any blood in the urine, you need to get that checked out promptly, of course, any pinky color to the urine. But saying that, if you eat beetroot, you could have like red urine. I eat quite a lot of beetroot. And sometimes the stool or the urine can be discolored red for that reason. So don't automatically panic with cloudy urine. <clears throat> and even don't automatically uh, panic if it's tinged red. Think about what you're eating. Think about your sexual history. Okay. Uh, think about a lot of different things. Your stress levels. You know, lots of different things you need to think about. If you get a consistent pattern of cloudy urine with blood or pain, you need urgent attention. No, no doubt. No doubt. But get the urine culture to see if you've got some kind of an infection, like an E. coli infection. A couple of good tips with cloudy urine if you do have an infection is forget commercial cranberry juice because it's often loaded with sugar. Go to the health food shop and buy actual cranberries and get about a tablespoon of these and simmer them up in some hot water for 20 minutes, cover it with a lid and then drink two glasses per day. So cranberry like that is very alkaline. Uh, it's very good to stop bacterial infections particularly. D mannose. So mannose is a powder that you can buy from the health food shop. It's called mannose, M-A-N-N-O-S-E. It's fantastic for urinary tract infections because again it stops E. coli, Escherichia coli or the bacteria from inhering to the urethra. So you'll actually pee out the bacteria rather than you know affecting the bladder or the urethra uh, wall. So it's a good way to get rid of yeast infection, uh, get rid of bacterial infection. Yeast infection of the bladder is a little bit different. You need to treat it more holistically, systemically, digestion. But the big thing with these infections is you've got to cut the sugar, okay? You really need to cut sugar. And also the bacterial infection, you need to make those diet changes or you're wasting your time. Treating infection is one thing. Preventing infection is the smart thing. If you're going to be dumb, you'll keep going back for recurring treatment like a lot of people do. If you're intelligent, You'll treat the infection, eradicate it, and prevent recurrence of infection. That, to me, is intelligence, all right? So that's a key thing for you to do. Some key foods for you to eat, really, um, for strengthening urinary tract out are lots of high-quality vegetables, lean proteins, lots and lots of water. But the big thing is not to drink alcohol, okay? Caffeine, oh, sparingly, but no alcohol with any kind of urinary problem. It's quite bad. And, and also lots of heavy proteins like red meats. Fish and uh, chicken are, are better meats to eat, I feel, for kidney function rather than uh, you know things like red meats. So temporarily cut back on heavy protein, increase water intake, and look at things like these cranberries. You know. And you can also get different kidney formulations, herbal ones that help to you know really tonify these areas. So don't automatically assume you've got a candida infection with cloudy urine. Get it cultured first. And in many cases, it'll be an E. coli infection. Recurring antibiotics is a dumb thing because often these bacteria become resistant to antibiotics. And even trimethoprim, which is a strong antibiotic, they can come resistant to that. So you don't really want to use antibiotics with any kind of urinary tract infection if you can avoid it. So I hope that gives you an insight into cloudy urine. Thank you for tuning in.